everyone, uh, welcome to me, him, the dog and a baby. Uh, today we went shopping in Norwich and we had a bit of a list of things to get. Uh, so I thought I'd do a little video of our haul from next. Um, first off, Erin's starting nursery in January. So what I thought I'd do is start buying the things that she has to take with her, like um, a bag, slippers, she has to have changing the clothes, a whole massive list of things that we have not a lot of to be honest so first up we have is a unicorn backpack and this one costs 18 pound they did have quite a few different bags um available but some of them were a bit plain and a bit boring and uh she's going to be taking this with her every day i at least wanted to have something fun so this is erin's new nursery bag which i think is pretty awesome you don't love a unicorn and then we had to buy some new clothes as well. Um, with it being Christmas, I love Christmas clothes. You can never have too many Christmas clothes. And one thing we do every year is a Christmas Eve box. And I really like to have a new pair of pyjamas for her in there. So we've got this fantastic pair of Christmas pyjamas. These are £10 and they come with trousers as well. And as you can see, the patterns on them are pretty funky. There's unicorns and cats and Santa and Christmas jumpers and I thought these were a bit different than all the other Christmas pyjamas I've seen. They're a little bit girlier, which I don't mind too much, um, but the boy section did have a lot better pyjamas to choose from, so that was a little bit unfortunate really. And next up we have a Christmas jumper. This one was bought from the boys section which I do shop from quite a lot for Erin to be honest. Um, a lot of the girls clothes from next are a really horrible soft pink. Erin looks awful in it. It's a rubbish colour. So I tend to dress her in navy and red and a lot of darker colours. Um, but this one's really cute and this one cost £13. So it's not overly expensive. She'll probably wear it a lot. So I don't mind too much. She's a bit small for her age as well, and I bought this one in one and a half to two years. We'll see what next year's like. I'm not holding out any hope for that though. And I also got her a Christmas dress, which I love to pieces. If they did this in my size, I'd have had one as well. And as you can see again, really cute little Christmassy pictures on there. And this one only cost £6. This one was on offer. So if you buy one thing, it's £6, two things for £10, and I can't remember what it was for three things, but there wasn't really anything else I wanted. But that dress is adorable, and she will have that on the first day of December, probably. And that's it for the Christmas clothes, but she does have a couple of other bits and pieces as well, which I'll be writing a blog post about at some point. But um, she seems to have had a, a bit of a growth spurt and grown out of all of her pyjamas in one go. Uh, we do tend to get a lot of these from Next just because the size fits a lot longer, I find, than anywhere else. They wash the nicest. They are more expensive than a lot of places, to be honest. But because she's small for her age, we tend to get a lot of wear out of them. Um, the ones I bought today are only 12 to 18 months. And she's nearly two. She's two in January. So she's uh, going to be in these probably at least until... March, April time, unless she has a crazy growth spurt again. But this is one pair of pyjamas that we got. And I fell in love with them as soon as I saw them. So there's the t-shirt, long sleeved, with little foot. And the trousers that go with it are a really nice blue. And they've got all kinds of different monsters on there. If you can call them monsters, I'm... Not really sure what you class Bigfoot as, but I've never seen anything like those before, so they were fantastic. And they cost, I think, £10 as well. Oh, they were £9 because they're in the slightly smaller age bracket, but once you go up to one and a half to two years, I think they start to get a little bit more expensive as well. Um, but next seem to have, like, we done all of the sleepwear and it's now called Dream On Sleep uh, Nightwear by Next and oh, the range is just beautiful I think I could have just bought everything they had near enough and then lastly I bought a set of pyjamas and these were £18 but you got two so £9 each 
and they're really pretty. They're a bit different, sort of in the style of the top. To be honest, I'd probably let Erin wear this in the daytime and not in bed anyway. But this one's red with little bunny rabbits and you get matching trousers with those as well. And then a nice... This is a bit Christmassy to be honest. It looks like it's got holly on it, but again, it's fine for any time of the year. I was quite surprised how quiet everywhere was today, to be honest. Um, Black Friday sales, there was next to nobody in Norwich. Everywhere was quiet, there was no queues. I don't think next actually do a Black Friday sale because they have big sales for the rest of the year. But um, yeah, I was expecting it to be really busy and it wasn't. It also wasn't quite as festive as I hoped it would be, which was a shame. So we didn't actually spend as long shopping as I probably could have done. But yeah, that's our first our first haul. And um, let me know in the comments if you like any of the bits we bought. Bye!